bad boy When I got off my ass and got to the cash and got in my bag, boy What's up, Bam World? It's Bam, and I'm just gonna jump straight into this video. So, I'm gonna be bleaching some knots, and what you need for your bleach mixture is some 40 volume developer, some quick blue bleach, and you also need a bowl, a brush, and a popsicle stick. So, that's what I'm showing you guys right here. So, I'm opening up my bleach, and I'm gonna take about one and a half scoops of bleach and I'm going to put that into my bowl you really don't need a lot of bleach to bleach knots especially on a 13 by 6 or a 13 by 4 lace wig even one and a half scoops was a lot because I still had some bleach mixture left over when I was done bleaching the knot so I suggest you put like one scoop of bleach inside your bowl because you really don't need that much so um, I put my bleach inside my bowl and I'm taking some 40 volume developer and I'm going to keep on putting that developer in with the bleach and mixing it up until I get the right consistency I want you really don't want it to run in because you don't want the bleach to run through the lace and get all over the hair so you want your bleach mixture to be like kind of thick but kind of like creamy too if that makes sense like kind of like this so where the bleach won't fall off the brush so that's how you want it so the hair that I'll be using in this video today is from Sealy Hair and they sent me a 13 by 4 26 inch deep wave wig and right here I'm just showing y'all some of the gifts that came with the wig that they sent and y'all this hair is super bomb it's so soft it's little to no shedding and it's true to length and all the information will be down in the description box down below if you guys want to purchase this hair so this is how the wig looks once I took it out the bag and y'all these curls are popping like they are super beautiful and this hair is so luxurious and soft so I'm just showing y'all how the wig looks and how the curl pattern looks and everything and this is how the lace looks I think they sent me a transparent lace with clips on the inside so all their information will be down in the description box down below if you guys are interested in purchasing this hair so what I'm doing now is placing my wig on my mannequin head and I'm going to get ready to take some got to be glue free spray and this is how it looks and I'm just going to comb all the baby hairs and all the flyaway hairs back so when I bleach my knots no bleach will get on my hair so yeah that's what I'm doing here. So when I bleach knots, I like to use a plastic butter knife or a popsicle stick. And in this case, I have a popsicle stick, so that's what I'm going to use. And basically, you just want to spread the bleach onto your lace like butter, like just spread it like butter. That's basically what you're going to be doing for the whole entire lace. It's really nothing else to explain. It's really easy. Just use a light hand with it. Make sure you don't press down when you're spreading it because you don't want the bleach to seep through the lace so I'm basically just spreading the bleach all over the lace with a light hand like I'm not pressing down as hard so yeah that's basically what you're doing and once I'm done I'm going to come back
guys should look after you're done coating it with the bleach mixture and I'm just going to leave this off for 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes I'm going to rinse it out. So after 30 minutes I'm just going to go ahead and rinse all the bleach off of my lace and I'm rinsing it with cold water so the bleach can stop processing on my lace. You don't want to rinse it with hot water because the bleach won't stop processing and it's just going to just don't do that just rinse it with cold water so yeah i rinsed it with cold water and now i'm gonna take some purple shampoo by shimmer lights and i'm just gonna wash my lace to like get all that brassiness orange out my lace because you don't want your lace orange sis so we finna fix that problem by taking this purple shampoo and you can use any type of brand of purple shampoo you want i just prefer shimmer lights because i think that's the best in my opinion but yeah i'm just washing my lace with the purple shampoo then after i'm done i'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and this is after 30 minutes and now I'm just rinsing all that shampoo out my lace and I'm going to wash my hair after that. Off camera I shampooed and conditioned my hair and I'm just showing y'all how it's looking. So I decided to pluck the wig because it did not come pre-plucked at all so I'm just sectioning off some hair in the front which is the baby hair part and I'm clipping that off to the side and I'm basically just gonna pluck the thick area that y'all see. You want to thin that out as much as you can until you get it to your liking so that's what I'm gonna be doing. If y'all want a detailed plucking tutorial then let me know down in the comments down below and I will do a full video on that for you guys but yeah I'm just basically just thinning out the thick of the hairline and yeah that's basically it if y'all are visual learners then y'all can basically just watch and learn what I'm doing but if y'all really want a full detailed video on how I pluck just let me know down in the comments down below and I will do that for you ASAP but y'all can just watch me pluck this unit for a little bit and then after I'm done I will come back side parts when I do curly hair so I decided to just do something different this time so I'm just parting my hair down the middle to get it prepared so I can hot comb and style so I'm taking my got to be glue hairspray and this is my favorite hairspray of all time and everything will be down in the description box down below so you guys can know where I got my products from so I'm just taking my hairspray and spraying it on my edges and I'm basically just gonna hot comb my edges to lay them down so the wig can look presentable basically y'all want to always do this part when y'all like styling y'all wigs and everything so the wig can look like presentable basically y'all gonna see what I mean at the end everything is just gonna come together and this part is basically self-explanatory so you guys can just watch me style this part and I'll come back once I'm done
how your wig should look after you're done hot combing your edges and everything and now next I'm going to define the curls I mean you can keep it like this if you like the puffy look but I want my curls like super defined so I'm gonna take a bottle with water and conditioner mixed together and I'm going to put that all over my hair as y'all can see Next, I'm going to take some got to be bodifying mousse and I'm going to put that all over my hair also and brush the mousse into the hair. Next, I'm going to take a towel and do this like scrunching movement. I don't know what this is called, but y'all see what I'm doing. I'm doing this to define the curls even more. So once y'all are done with everything, this is how the wig should look. And y'all, this is not the finished look. I don't want to do the wet look. I'm going to let the wig dry for about 24 hours and it will be ready and complete and done. But this is basically the end of the video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join our world. And I'll see you guys in my next video. No, no, not at all None of you bitches compare, not